hopefully we're much closer to better days boys um you can probably see in my face how just making this video has drained me because of stuff i had to speak on like i'm tired i am tired you know what i'm saying you got the content creators you got the youtubers and stuff like that they get paid to do it so they're very soft on the things that they speak on you know they cry off camera instead of on camera um and i never want to do that all right boys ea sports is officially less than 24 hours away from the official review of madden 24. i just want to address four topics that need to be corrected going forward by ea by madden and if not we are literally just going to set ourselves up for another year of depression and stress and anxiety um yeah it's just going to be another terrible year of madden like i'm going to be very straightforward very blunt i'm going to share my honest opinion um because i'm just tired of it like i'm sure a lot of you are just tired of it like again i don't want this video to be too long so i'm just gonna get right into it point number one animations are more animations good enough so i was watching an eric rayweather video and i'm sure a lot a lot of you are familiar with who that is he was going over how ea is implementing more animations right because there was a, a limited supply in madden 23 and so you would see a lot of the same repeated animations over and over and over and now they're adding more animations apparently to fix that issue here's why i think we're screwed pretty they're putting lipstick on a pig they're putting makeup on a pig however you say that like animations need to be removed like animations are the core issue with gameplay like whenever i get on madden i get pissed off from the menu music to the way the menu loads up to the glitches and certain game modes not being there and you having to restart the game and x y and z but i digress when you're talking about gameplay specifically animations are like the core issue with madden so by adding more animations how do we even begin to come close to a step forward i'm sure we've all been in situations where it's third and one and you're on defense you're making a tackle and the guy's falling backwards and it's getting ready to be fourth down but before he hits the ground another player runs up and now a new animation takes place that now propels him forward and they get the first down and defense stays on the field and it's like how many times does that happen in crucial moments during a game? You know what I'm saying? I've lost countless of games due to scenarios just like that because the computer has no sort of intelligence to know that. I'm on defense. It's third down. I need to keep the ball carrier behind this line, behind the first down line. There's no, there's no thought process. There's no brain or any sort of logic or intelligence to these players. How you implement that? I don't know. I'm not a game developer. I'm not a software developer. I don't, I don't know. It's not my job to know. I'm a customer. I'm a player. Once competitive gamer. Uh, now I just do content because I just, I can't take the game serious. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it stresses me out. I, I've played football for like 15 years of my life. Played all throughout high school, played as a kid, played in college. So when I play Madden, you know it's as close to football it's just, it's kind of it's it's kind of a way to me to keep that relationship that i have with football you know what i'm saying so uh, as i'm sure it's the same with a lot of you and so naturally i want to do things and you know i take the game very serious and passionately that's why i started playing competitively because i have an understanding of football my 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 perspective of football is rooted in real life experiences, you know what I'm saying? And so when I try to replicate that in Madden and I just can't, even though I'm doing what I need to do to get the result that I want, but due to animations and lack of logic and AI intelligence, I can't get that. But some 13 year old with an X Factor player can just branch and just, you know, uh, manipulate animations, put himself in certain positions to ignite certain animations and get the desired result. It's like, how am I supposed to keep my cool? How am I supposed to enjoy myself? How am I supposed to have fun? So I already think we're off to a bad start, you know, with that point. Next point that I want to address is X factors. Do we get rid of X factors? My answer is 100% yes. Now, let me explain. In the very beginning, when I heard the concept of it, I was like, okay, you're trying to make star players play like star players, right? I get it. But the way that they went about it or the way that they get that job done is just wrong. It's just wrong because what they do is they just ignore attributes attributes no longer mean anything if 
I have an X factor as a receiver. So I'm a great route runner, right? So my X factor stems from my great route running. I, the way I play like a, the reason I play like a star player is because I'm able to get myself open. I'm able to read a defense and find the soft spots that say an Adam Thielen in this scenario, which I'm not sure if he's even still an X factor, but you get what I'm saying. Madden will allow Adam Thielen to, to play like or run routes like he has freaking 97 speed 98 speed or something like that you can't do that you know what i'm saying like that's just it reminds me of like boost in 2k like i don't play 2k i used to back in the day but i don't need more for similar reasons but i remember like in my part you could buy boost and stuff like that so if you have for the sake of example like a 63 point shooting and you get a boost or you get a badge or something like that a three-point shooting badge you can drain greens all day long from the three-point line it's like how does that make any sense i have a 60 overall three-point shooting but i can drain threes all day because of a badge or a boost that i bought now what that does is it just makes att attributes obsolete and that's where you run into the issue what ea does with x factors is they make star players they pretty much make regular players play bad to make the star players look good you see what i'm saying you see how that doesn't work instead what you should do is make attributes mean more if i have 97 speed or if i have 95 route running as receiver let me play like i have 95 route running as receiver that doesn't mean you let the db with 93 zone coverage or man coverage play like he has 80 man coverage or 80 zone coverage when he's guarding me specifically because that doesn't fix the issue you just let 90 overall man coverage against 95 overall route running play like they should play how you do that i don't know again this is not my job to know how it's their job to know how but when you do it the way that they've been doing it you're gonna run into these issues there's a lot on my mind the way i feel right now as far as addressing the concerns that i have with madden so you have to follow along with me yeah essentially what i'm saying is x factors are a good idea but ea does not know how to implement that properly i'm gonna make this last point then i'm gonna move on to the next point i wanna i found out not too long ago that there are thresholds when it comes to attribute and i'm sure a lot of you already know what i'm talking about say i have 91 speed you have 93 speed if we start at the same point we're essentially gonna run at the same speed why we're in the same threshold so in order for you to run faster than me if i have 91 speed and you have 93 speed in order for you to look like you're faster than me because you are you're gonna need at least 94 speed to get into the next threshold so that you can actually run faster than i am you know what i'm saying like and that's just that's how does that make any sense if you have 91 speed i have to be at least 94 speed to run faster than you i can't have 92 or 93 how does that make any sense? Yeah, like when you have concepts like that, X factors pretty much putting lipstick on a pig. It's just not gonna fix anything. So that's my thing with X factors. Ultimate team. Now, I might have mentioned this already, but I used to play, I used to be a competitive Madden player. I used to go to tournaments, used to travel. I can't do that anymore. I went to a tournament, I think it was Madden 21. I went to a tournament in Arlington, Texas at the EA headquarters. And I played against this dude, this professional Madden player at the time, I'm not sure if he still plays, but his name was Oreo. When I tell you this dude was doing stuff you would see in, in, in Mario Kart or that you would see in like Mortal Kombat, like just the weirdest of things on a football field that made no sense, but he was destroying me, absolutely destroying me, but he's running 15 yards backwards, like literally sprinting backwards and sending his running back up the edge and throwing it to him and just launching it and like he knew where to put himself at on the field to get certain outcomes you know what i'm saying like and so through me having that experience let me stay on track here through me having that experience i was like yo i can't I, I can't i cannot take this game serious anymore and i ended up doing decent at the tournament um i ended up getting knocked off in the same in the second day more or less that destroyed me and deterred me greatly from wanting to play competitive madden ever again i pretty much from then on went to just like content and like uh, ultimate team my issues with ultimate team right now obviously one of them is microtransactions but before i get to microtransactions ultimate team is like is arcade for sure there's no debate now there's no simulation to it that's okay because the concept of ultimate team getting able you know by getting cards and and getting players that you know play decades apart and allowing them to play on the same team and stuff like that it's a great idea fantastic idea but i think they should have a simulation ultimate team and then an arcade ultimate team because some of the stuff that goes on and i don't even have to give you analogies or examples if you ever touched ultimate team even for a quarter you know what i'm talking about this is the most 
egregious and outrageous game mode there is it's like superstar ko on drugs no actually there's nothing worse than superstar ko i don't even know why that exists so i digress from that but ultimate team is bad you will see some stuff that you would see in like the avengers endgame or something like that like in a real marvel movie like you just see some of the craziest stuff there are, there are people that enjoy that there are people that are okay with that but the average person that is good at madden and takes it serious it's not okay with that. I agree with the concept, being able to take players and put them on the same team and, and you know build your own roster. There should at least be a simulation version of it. You know, um, I think that'll be a great solution for a lot of people. All I play now is squads with my brothers. If you go on the channel, check it out, which I advise that you do. Um, all I play is squads with my brothers. It's I get to play with my brothers, 3v3, and we just go through the lobbies and just destroy people. It's hard to enjoy that at times because we never buy packs, we grind, we do solos and stuff like that, and we grind for the cards that we have. But it doesn't matter if some kid can just come on with a credit card and buy the same team that we put in and work for. And without any understanding of how football works or football logic or physics or anything like that, we're competing on the same playing field. Like it doesn't. It's not fair. Straight up, it's not fair, and it's 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 it has to be addressed. It has to be fixed. Then microtransactions. I mean, that's a beast. That speaks for itself. If you're a fan of microtransactions, something's wrong with you. Um, and I suggest you just stop watching this video now. I'll be surprised if you even watch this video this far. I'm not even gonna spend any more time on that on that topic. To be straight up, that's just to be straight up. Don't reward lack of skill. Find a way to make football simulation simulate football. <laughs> okay, find a way to make football simulation simulate football, point blank. Yeah, so if you stuck around for this long, I appreciate it. If you share some of these same concerns, if you feel like I hit some topics that you want me to expound on, let me know. I'll be, I would love to make another video. Um, again, these aren't the usual type of videos that I make, but I saw the official trailer release coming out in the next 24 hours, and I just had to put my perspective out there. So, um, hopefully... Hopefully, we're getting closer to better days, boys, because um, I can't take it much longer. I can't. I absolutely cannot take it much longer. I lose sleep. I pop blood vessels. <laughs> Hopefully, we're much closer to better days, boys. Um, you can probably see in my face how just making this video has drained me because of stuff I had to speak on. Like, I'm tired. I am tired. You know what I'm saying? You got the content creators, you got the YouTubers and stuff like that. They get paid to do it, so they're very soft on the things that they speak on. You know, they cry off camera instead of on camera. Um, and I never want to do that. You know, I enjoy football. I enjoy playing Madden, but the game needs to improve. So share this video, like this video, because we need better. Thank you, boys, again. Um, and now we wait and be sure to check out some of the videos man check out my instagram it's going to be in the description box i post madden clips on there uh just gameplays and stuff like that i'm going to start streaming madden 24 so it's gonna be a lot going on man we play we play ultimate team squads so it's a very niche mode within the game uh but it's very fun it's very entertaining so again if you stick around this long thank you and uh i'll see you in the next one peace